Ryan Little. Yeah. <laughs>on guys welcome back to another video thank you for tuning in thus far and uh here we are once again at my storage unit today i want to show you something very special of mine um that is a pair of driving shoes and what's so special about this pair of driving shoes is it's from bmw so while i'm here today at the storage unit i'm gonna a check for uh, my car to see if it's charging b check my tires and c check if there is any moisture in the cabin so without further ado let's get into it welcome back to my office guys here i am going to talk about two different pair of shoes that you might have in your closet and which pair is good for driving Unfortunately, I wasn't able to continue filming outside due to the extreme cold alert here in Canada. When I was there, I did check the battery, I did check the tire and the cabin to see if there's any moisture. Luckily, everything checked out fine. So here we are back in my office to continue on with the show. This is solely just my opinion and mine alone. If you for some reason have a pair of shoes that you already own and is already very comfortable with, I would suggest you stick with that one. If you for some reason need to wear a specific type of shoe, by all means, learn how to drive that one and don't worry about it. As you can tell from my backdrop, I personally love sneakers and I have some that are just are very bulky and very clunky and I want to let you know how they feel while driving. Today, I wanna to share with you which pair of sneakers I prefer while driving and which pair feels a little off. With that being said, let's get right into it. Now, if you really wanna get a feel of what each pedal is really doing and get a better sense of how to drive manual better, there are of course better specific racing shoes out there, but today we're gonna to talk about some everyday shoes that you would wear. Once again, this is just a full disclaimer, I'm not no shoe expert, um, you can wear whatever pair of shoes that you want as long as your pair of shoes is comfortable to your liking and to your driving style. I want to start off talking about a, a pair of Air Joints that I really, really like. This pair of Air Joints is very iconic, but I'm not going to get into specific details, but I want to get into how bulky the shoe is to begin with. Now, whenever I wear this, it's often just to grab groceries or maybe even hit up a local mall. But I find that wearing this while driving manual can be a little bit difficult sometimes due to the bulky nature of this. The shoe width is actually made for basketball use so that you cover more ground on the court. And the heel of this shoe is actually very, very sharp and can get very uncomfortable while driving long distances. But today I want to talk about a specific pair of driving shoes that I own and this is the Puma BMW Sabre F1 Team driving shoe. With this specific pair of driving shoe, one would argue that it is actually one of the better solutions out there when finding a sneaker like this. One of the biggest reasons why people would lean towards a driving shoe is because of the ergonomics that it provides. As we take a closer look, the heel of the shoe itself is rounded off and it provides a really nice curvature so that it actually distributes more momentum when you are pressing onto the gas pedal, brake pedal, or clutch pedal. Coupled by a very special grip-like compound that helps you plant your foot on the floor of the footwell so that you will not slip. With that unique feature that not only allows you to grip better onto the floor, but it allows better accuracy versus your typical sneaker that has a traditional sharp point. The next best thing about specific driving shoes is the soles of the shoe itself. The soles of this pair of shoe is actually very thin and having a thin sole does have its perks. It allows you to get a better feel of the clutch pedal, brake pedal, and throttle pedal. The sole of this shoe isn't uncomfortable to the point where while, you, while walking, you can feel every pebble and rock. This is a lifestyle and driving shoe. The shape of the shoe does hug the shape of your foot so that it feels more, much more natural when you are driving a manual transmission car. With the silhouette of the shoe being, being this thin, it actually helps you while driving so that you won't press the wrong pedal. With these driving shoes, they were designed for a lifestyle and driving purpose. So these are unfortunately not fireproof. With real racing shoes, however, they would usually be fireproof and have high tops and be extremely lightweight. 
Now I've done some research and the top of the range driving shoe or racing shoe can be made from exotic materials that will have better stitching and of course have lighter weighted materials. Now you might be thinking, with the weight savings, will that shave off lap times? I can confidently tell you, unfortunately not. These Puma shoes will actually do it for me while I'm driving every day and taking my car to the track. Once again, thank you for watching my video. Let me know down in the comment section down below, do you prefer driving specific shoes or do you prefer your everyday sneaker casual lifestyle shoes? Comment down below, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. But until then, see you next time.